Hello fairy friends, it's Liz and I wanted to share with you my small thrift store haul. Um, I went yesterday and I didn't have terribly good luck with finding things. So I'm going to call this a small haul. Um, I'm not showing you all of it. Um, a big chunk of what I spent my uh, $30 budget on. Um, I have to make into something and it's going to be part of another video so it won't be of much interest um, to you until you see what I do with it so I and many of you know $30 is my budget I sometimes go over that so but I try to think oh a dollar a day so I can have a good time at the thrift store once a month <laughs> but I found this Gotts doll and it's marked Gotts on the back and wasn't going to get it, um, put it in my cart, and thought, mm, do I really want to get another one of these? And these were made uh, for uh, Pottery Barn Kids by Gotts. And I thought, you know what, yeah, I'll go ahead. Because, even though it's not terribly um, distinctive, it's a cute doll. I did have another one. So I kind of thought, do I want another one? And I thought, well, you know what? The first thing that can really make a doll something special is the outfit. And you can make a pretty plain doll um, look like something um, very special and cared for just by the outfit. But the second thing in my opinion, in my strange, <laughs> my strange little world, twins can make something really special. So I thought, well, I'm going to have two of these and I'm going to dress them maybe as girl boy twins. This one is missing uh, some paint on its lips. So I'm going to redo that. And since I have the both of them, um, this one's lips are fine. But I doubt I'm going to be able to match that lip color. So I'm going to remove the lip color on both and start from scratch. That way they both look the same. And they have some cleanup. It looks like some crayon and some marker on them. But all in all, Gots are very nicely made dolls. So you'll be seeing those again in a video in the future. Then I found this little guy. And he looks like he has gotten uh, some marker on his little body. And he has a little pocket here. There's no markings on him. He's just made in China. Um, the tag says made in China. And the back of his head is marked made in China. But it has this pocket here. So I don't know if it had a mechanism inside that you squeezed. And I can't really place the time period for this so if anybody knows uh, let me know in the comments but the vinyl is kind of um, not a soft vinyl it kind of reminds me of what you would see in the late 80s and early 90s so that's probably my best guess of when he was made because there's no date on the tag but I did think his expression was nice um, I just thought, you know what, I could probably clean this up and make him look more realistic. Um, he does have some pitting um, in the cheek and the nose, which hopefully can get evened out uh, with some acetone. So he will also be appearing in another video. And I thought I'll go ahead and include these. Um, I got this book, which I'll go over here in just a minute, and these two little rattles. And they have some Velcro here on the straps, um, but it's only the fuzzy side, uh, the loop side of the Velcro. So it, my best guess is it, they were to be Velcroed on a hanging thing like for a car seat or whatever i don't know what those are called but anyway whatever those hangy things are um but they do have the rattle inside and 
I just thought uh, they just had a look of um, something between the 70s and the 90s um, toy. So I thought I'm going to put these with my toy collection um, of the kind of vintage, not the 50s and the 60s, but in my later little collection of toys. So... And I might paint them. I th I almost think I, I'm going to paint their ears. Um, because the, the coloring kind of looks more modern. Then I found this. Songs and Games. An exciting collection for boys and girls. And I thought, oh, look at this front cover. That looks really pretty. And it does have a lot of nice illustrations inside. And it looks like it was from the New London, Ohio Public Library. So hopefully this was discarded. I don't see any stamps. Usually when it's discarded, it'll have a stamp right there on the pocket. But it has a lot of nice illustrations. Anyway, not the biggest haul, not my best haul. Um, sometimes I go and I don't, I don't find anything. So if you don't see a video for the month, it's because I went and I didn't find anything. <laughs> or maybe I found things that were for the house and weren't of very much interest at all. But these were, you know, pretty good additions to my doll collection. And especially... Speaking of my doll collection, you'll remember this little guy right here. And I thought I'd show you what I've been working on for him. Which, basically, as you can see, I have not worked on him exactly. And I have decided to call him Connor. And he does still need some work here. But I'm crocheting a little hat for him. And then he'll get some booties. And then here's his blanket. And I'm going to, and this is just a scrap yarn that I had. Um, I'm almost out of the blue because I've done a lot of the uh, smaller doll blankets and I've run out of the blue. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is this green that's in here, I'm going to go around and make a stripe around of the green. And then probably around the outside edge, I'll do one or two uh, rows of yellow after I do that green. But I don't think I have much of the blue left. So, and then not really sure what the booties, what those will be um, crocheted, what colors. But anyway, I thought you might like to see that just to add some interest since this um, thrift store haul isn't very big at all. <laughs> but anyway... I had planned on using this yarn with this fabric here, but this fabric, um, it just, it's not suitable, uh, for a little boy doll. And I just decided that that's what this is. This is a little boy, <laughs> but the colors go really well with that fabric. So I think what I'll do is either, um, a green or a blue check, uh, romper will be cute for this little guy anyway thank you guys for spending some time with me and i hope you guys have a magical day bye, -bye.